comment, subscribe below. What's up, gang? Oh my God, I haven't done a video like this in a long time. I've been uploading so much stuff about food, restaurants, lounges, and just trips and stuff I've been taking. As y'all know, April just passed, so my birthday month is over. We are now in May, and today is Cinco de Mayo, so that's why I'm all done up, guys. So this video is about the gym. These are my gym icks, okay? And any gym girls, any girls who want to be on a gym journey, a health journey, you just want to change your life, you just want to be in a gym or, or whatever, whatever your deal is, tap in, comment below, let me know what you think about these icks, let me know what you think about the gym and your journey and whatever you're doing. So I'm all cute today, y'all, but I do not be cute like this in the gym, okay? This is content for you guys. When I'm in the gym, I'll be looking a hot mess express, okay? I don't be all done up, cute, baby blue, no. No, okay? I go to the gym almost every day. I've been on a gym journey since my early 20s. It wasn't to have the perfect body or anything like that, because as you guys can see, I'm very curvy, little fat, little fat, little thick, okay? I'm not a skinny girl, and my goal is not to be skinny. My goal is to be healthy and form healthy habits. So I'm 34, I've been going to the gym since my early 20s, and it really is just an amazing thing for me, for my mental health, my emotional health, and even for my body sometimes, you know, it benefits, keeps me from getting too big, or, or whatever the case may be, right? So we wanna stay healthy, guys, all right? So, like, in my years going to the gym, I have been a member at different gyms, depending on the season in my life, um, I have some aches, I have some things I love, I have some things I hate, but we're going to get into the aches, like whatever. So my first ick is when you go to the gym, right, there's plenty of machines, everybody's coming in there with a certain goal, everybody's coming in there um, with a routine in their head. There are people who hog the machine. And that can be a problem, especially if you go to like a smaller gym. That can be a huge issue. So you have a person who stays on the machine for a half an hour to an hour, and it's like you can't even get your routine done. You can't even do your thing because they've been on the machine so long. That sucks. All right, don't you hate when people do that? Like I'd be like, girl, I'm trying to get out of here, but you can't even you can't even do your thing. All right, so my next gym ick is lack of personal space and privacy. Now, when you go to the gym, it's like, it's so many people sometimes. And during some times of the day, like 4 p.m., 6 p.m., when everybody's getting off work, it can be super crowded. So you get on your machine, you put your headphones in, you're locking in with your routine. And then here comes someone trying to talk to you about anything. There's, sometimes there's trainers in the gym and they're trying to recruit people to train, so they'll stop you and talk about that. Or then, like being a woman <laughs> in the gym, sometimes, you know, guys are trying to talk to you. And now, fellas, do not jump down my throat, okay? Because we love y'all. But real gym girls are so locked into their routine. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. And ladies, let me know in the comment if y'all feel the same way. If I have my headphones in, here comes somebody trying to talk to me, I look a hot mess as it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't want to be bothered. And here comes somebody trying to talk to me. I was like, oh my God. Like, yes, sir. Like, well, what would you like? Huh? Can I help you? You want my number? Okay, can you wait till I finish with my set? Fellas, the, the right thing to do is kind of like wait until she's finished with her set. I can't be mid squat <laughs> and like, hey, how you doing? Like, you know what I mean? That's the ick of mine. Okay, the third ick. We just went through a global pandemic, okay? Guys, we just went through a zombie apocalypse and people are still not using disinfectant spray. I'm upset. Like we're sweating all over these machines, you know, people are doing the most, people are coughing, sneezing, everything, all this stuff. And then they don't even wipe the machine down. Like I bring my own spray, but any gym is gonna provide you with disinfectant spray. There should be spray bottles all over the gym. I spray it before I use it, I spray it after I use it. But unfortunately, I don't see many people cleaning the machines. Like, and then I don't really see many like janitor staff 
like walking around cleaning too much so that kind of worries me like i'm going to the gym to get healthy i do not want to get sick <laughs> so like can we start wiping the machines down a little bit because come on you know what i mean also all right this gym ache is for like girls who i hear a lot of times women tell me oh i don't go to the gym because i don't know what to do or i don't go to the gym because you know i'm insecure about my body and i don't want everybody looking at me and things like that like contrary to popular belief when you're in a gym with a bunch of people nine times out of ten we're not looking at you yeah sorry no like people are locked into their routine so but i do understand as a woman like not want anybody to see you or if you feel like you're bigger or smaller because we all have insecurities no matter what size you are you don't you kind of feel like a little embarrassed if you're trying to lift weights or if you're on the treadmill and you're trying to get some cardio in like i would just say dress comfy dress in what makes you feel happy and comfortable know what routine you're gonna do before you get there and just you know go with the flow guys People actually have been super helpful to me in the gym. Men, you know, when I'm using the machine wrong or maybe my posture is not right, they come to me friendly and kind and they correct me, they help me out. It's not as bad as you think, ladies. Like you could go to the gym, you could be a gym girl. Like me, I don't care. I'm not a skinny girl. I ain't trying to be a skinny girl. I go in there with my little shorts on, my t-shirt, got my headphones on, I'm in my zone, I don't care. So if somebody looking at me like, oh, she don't know what she's doing, or, oh, she's not skinny, she's fat, I don't care. Like, just do you. You guys know how I feel about self-love. All right, so Gigi Gang, it was so good talking to you guys. Comment below, let me know what your gym aches are because I couldn't come up with that many because I love the gym so much, but those are like my top four. So let me know, gang, all right? Until later, peace out. Ha <laughs>